what a way to get into the UFC. I mean, first off, if you want an emphatic statement to make before you even get into the octagon, then you delivered it on the Contender Series. How's things been for you since that big KO? It's been good, man. Um, obviously, kind of uh, almost back home, like I've, I've almost been like a little bit famous. It feels pretty surreal. Um, I'm just a normal guy from the Highlands of Scotland, so uh, been going back home and everybody noticing me and taking note and. When I went back to American Top Team this time, everybody knew who I was, which was fantastic as well. You know, it made a massive difference, and it made me um, not be a stranger over there, which I, I would never was. But you know, like everybody kind of had something to talk to me about. And once you'd actually got that contract sort of signed and sealed, what does that do for your confidence? You know, you've been working your whole career to get onto the big stage. You're now here, and the next chapter is about to start for you. So, what's the emotion like as you get ready to make that first walk? Well, previously. Um, since probably 2018, the the dream, the only dream and the only goal I ever had was to get to the UFC. Um, and now that, that that's uh, happened, I've had to change my goals and had to change my admirations. And um, I'm looking forward to conquering them as well. Um, small steps, build myself up the ladder. Uh, sometimes I need to pinch myself, you know, like walking up here, seeing this, seeing this mic again. UFC, you know, getting all the gear, um, seeing all my peers, you know, you're seeing all these people walk through here and very humble and very grateful to be a part of the UFC. I know it's not the hydro, but walking out at the O2, what's that going to mean to you? Same, same. It's the same soil. It's, um, this is my home crowd. Um, I'm going to use that to my advantage. Um, and obviously... You know what it's like uh, being in home soil. You can you can definitely feel it in the air. And uh, what do you make of Omar as an opponent? Um, great overall opponent. Um, happy to be in front of him. Um, I just don't think he's on my caliber. Um, I'm, I've got danger everywhere. Uh, the problem by name, problem by nature. Um, that's why they call me the problem. So good luck to him. And you take a look at his skill set. You know what you've got in a locker. What's your most likely route to victory on Saturday? Finish. That's all I go for and that's all I want. Um, obviously, if it goes three rounds, I didn't do 10 weeks in American top team for nothing. So um, I'm fit, I'm able and I'm ready. Um, I'm looking forward to just putting the guy away and putting a statement in my, uh, my home crowd. Great stuff. Thanks a lot. Thank you. <clears throat> Uh, can I just get your thoughts on the main event? How do you think the fight between Leon and Kamaru plays out? Oh, man, such a tough one, you know. It's, um, this is the third fight. Um, I would really like uh, Leon to win because, obviously, he's from, from the UK. That would be great for, for UK MMA. Um, but I think um, the way I would play it, if I was Kamaru Usman, I would, I would wrestle heavy and wrestle early and try and get, it, try and get that bell back, you know. Chris, down here to your left, you, you touched on the reaction uh, from from Scottish people uh, of your viral knockout. What was the reaction of your friends and family after seeing that? <laughs> yeah, that that was pretty crazy. Um, obviously, I've had the the Contender Series film crew follow me since then. Um, they came back to to my property back home and filmed at the barbecue and like I, we had a party afterwards. I think I had over 100 people come to the gym just to say congratulations. And um, yeah, it's been crazy. Like everybody knows me in my area. We've got quite a small town for where I'm back home. It's just been absolutely extraordinary, the support I've got from my local crowd. Cheers, man. Thank you. Thank you. Just to ask you quickly about the Scottish MMA, and we've obviously got some big names, Paul Craig in particular, and Stevie Ray going so close in the PFL as well. Are you looking to sort of get yourself in the household names? Obviously, you said that people recognise you now, but is that your goal to be, you know, one of the lead figures of Scottish MMA? I, I'm in the household now. I, like, this is my home. This is my home. Like, I'm here to stay. I'm here to win. I'm here to put on performances. There's only one guy on the card that I'm worried it might take my 50k, and that's Justin Gaethje. <laughs> And have you got a lot of family and friends coming down and you're expecting a, a big cheer for you there on Saturday night? Yeah, yeah, I've got a lot of family and friends. I've, I can't even count how many. I think there's a lot of people coming down anyway. Um, the most important two is my daughter and my, my fiance. She's coming down. They're going to stay across from the event. So that's the most important two people. Um, and looking forward to seeing them. Uh, they come Friday.